know what I can't stop thinking about every time I have to come to an actual bank? That NCIS doesn't pay us enough? No, I get to work with Gibbs, and I would do that for free. I can't stop thinking that all these cameras and vaults and security precautions are just for show. I mean, any serious bank robber these days is just gonna hack into the bank's central accounts and move a whole ton of money with just a few button clicks. I mean, who needs Bonnie and Clyde anymore? Don't tell that to Tony. He'll be crushed. Yes, we are robbing the bank. Nobody move or try anything stupid. And no one gets hurt. Mickey, I would think that qualifies as something stupid. I think you should listen to the lady. Do I even want to know what you were looking at, Tony? Just some old pictures back when I was working homicide in Baltimore. I was one of their best officers, you know. I find that hard to believe. Ziva, please. You know as well as anyone how awesome I am. Actually, I still hold several records of my old district. Really? What kind of records? Ah, I'm glad you asked. I still hold the record for the fastest time on the department agility test. I hold the record for the longest consecutive days on a stakeout. And for the most arrests in a single month. Though stopping a school bus full of deadheads headed to Eugene may have added my numbers a little on that one. Any others? Also, the record for being the most often injured officer, but I really don't want to discuss that one. Good. Maybe you can actually start working instead. Grab your gear, fast. What do we got, boss? Bank around the corner is being robbed. It's not a Navy bank. Why are we going? Abby and McGee are inside. You're on the line, sir. You want to keep breathing? Put down your weapons, exit one at a time. I want the plane. Fuel that waiting for us at Washington Dulles Airport. Not gonna happen. Go! On your six, boss. You okay? Yes, but I'm gonna take Mickey to the hospital to make sure he's not dying, which he's not. But he should probably still see a doctor. Mr. Nicholson, thanks for coming in to talk to us. I know this hasn't been the easiest day for you. Of course, of course. Whatever I can do to help you catch those hooligans. Hooligans? Wow. That's pretty strong language. You might want to watch yourself there. Sorry. Can you give some details about your job at the Franklin and Jefferson Capital Bank? I'm the branch manager. And that entails? I'm the bank's eyes and ears in the branch. If something is happening, I'm the one keeping track of it. What can you tell me about the robbery? All I can say is that if we had to be robbed, Thursday was a perfect day for it. There's a perfect day to be robbed. And it's a Thursday. Who knew? We have very little cash on hand on Thursdays. We routinely move our excess currency out of the vault on Wednesdays and Saturdays. How much money did they get away with? It was still early in the afternoon on Thursday, so the bank hadn't had a chance to take in too many deposits yet. The robbers only took a total of $529,406.87. Guess they didn't do their homework. Only? Sounds like a lot of money to me. If they had come one day earlier, they could have taken over nine million.
That's all for now. Thanks again. If you think of anything else that might be of use to us, please give me a call. Certainly. Certainly. Start bagging and tagging. What about the FBI? You let me worry about the FBI. Ziva, collect residue samples near the explosion. Yes, Gibbs. Going to the garage. Search the garage. We're looking for anything linked to the getaway car. Pictures. I'm on it. Tire tracks. Broken side mirror. I need to collect samples of this explosive residue. Great. Now what? Okay, now I will go to see if Tony needs any help. Ziva, the cameras have been shot. Can you take pictures of them? Pictures. I'm on it. This camera has taken a bullet. I should take a picture of it. That's one. Keep up the good work. This camera has taken a bullet. I should take a picture of it. Security cameras, Eva. I need pictures.
This camera is too high for me to photograph. What now? This camera has taken a bullet. I should take a picture of it. Hey, Tony, I need you to help me reach the camera. Hold on, hold on, I'm coming. There's no other way. I'm gonna have to lift you up. This sounds suspicious to me. What are you up to? Ziva, would I ever try to take advantage of the situation? Don't answer that. Ready? Ready? There. Now you can take your photo. Two cameras, two photos. Tony, can you assist me moving this desk? I need to stand on it to photograph the camera. Sure, Ziva. Ready? Ugh. Ready? One, two, three, go. Ugh. This will do. That is all of them. I am finished. Well done, Ziva. I think you got them all. Paint chips. Abby, how are you feeling? I'm fine, Ziva. Thanks for asking. Though I think McGee sprained his ankle. I guess he will be spending some extra time behind his computer then. <laughs> yeah, tough luck. We are sending you everything we have collected at the crime scene. Thanks, Ziva.
This side mirror came from a car that could have made those tire tracks. Let's find out what kind of tire this is. The only possible conclusion is that the tire tracks and side mirror came from a 1972 Hewitt Ether. Ooh, cool car. Gotcha. The residue on the paint chips found in the bank's garage is a rare pollutant found only near rubber processing plants. The residue from the explosion suggests the robbers used a high-grade explosive known as 22NBH. Whoa! These guys weren't messing around. Well, we know what kind of car they have, but that's not enough to trace them. We're gonna need McGee to track down the pollutant we found on the paint chips so we can narrow the search. Why would these guys go through all this trouble to steal so little money? Bad planning? Nope, there's something else. Boss, there's someone from the UAE Embassy here who wants to talk to us. UAE Embassy? Yeah, they're in the same building as the bank. Want me to take this one? Be my guest. Thanks, boss. And who might you be? I am Maryam Malak. Assistant to the Deputy Ambassador, Sheikh Hosni Abdesalim. Well, hello there. I'm very special agent Anthony Dinozo. It is a pleasure. Though it would be more so under different circumstances. So you're the assistant to the Deputy Ambassador, huh? As I said, I am a representative of the Ambassador of the United Arab Emirates. So what can I do for you today? I would like to report a break-in. Yeah, we already know about the bank robbery. There was another break-in. The UAE Embassy offices are on the 11th floor of the Franklin and Jefferson Capital Bank building. At the same time the bank was being robbed, so was our office. You know what was taken? Nothing. Not much of a robbery then, now is it? Nothing taken, but whoever broke in attempted to get into a secure safe. Luckily, they were unsuccessful. You didn't see them? No. Why not? The power went out during the robbery, and the embassy was evacuated as part of our standard protocols. What was in the safe? Immigration papers, diplomatic endorsements, blank passports, and the embassy's petty cash. That it? We were warned by our government that other UAE embassies have experienced break-ins. We were advised to put all sensitive documentation under special security. And nothing was missing? No. You sure? We double-checked. Nothing is missing or unaccounted for. Thank you, Miss Maria Malik. If you think of anything else, please don't hesitate to call us. Or me. Anytime.
Thank you, Agent Dinozo. My government begs for your discretion in this matter. Discretion is my middle name. Looks like the bank wasn't the only place hit during the robbery. No? The power at the UAE Embassy on the 11th floor went out during the bank job. They had a break-in as well, though nothing seemed to be missing. It's been more than a robbery here. Go check it out. What am I looking for? Whatever you missed last time, Dinozo. The building manager told me the breaker panels were over here somewhere. I need to find the circuit breaker panel. Locked panel door. Let's see what's behind it. There's some sort of strange residue on this breaker switch. I'm gonna take a photo. Got what I came for. Time to head back to the office. Hey, Abs. Tony! What do you got? Looks like someone cut the power to the 11th floor of the building during the bank robbery. What makes you think that? There's some strange residue on the 11th floor breaker switches you should test. Okay, I'm on it. The residue on this switch matches the residual explosive we found in the bank. Whoever blew the floor out of the bank also turned off the power to the 11th floor. Gibbs, none of this stuff adds up. Let's go to the deduction board. Let's see what we can find. What does that mean, Abs? Found what we were looking for. Why do you think that, Abs? In English, Abs. Found what we were looking for. Why do you think that, Abs? Oh, come on, Gibbs. I know you see what I see. Why do you think that, Abs? Found what we were looking for. So these guys weren't just robbing the bank. Nope. We should have enough for McGee to be able to track them down. If he's up and around. You are one lucky man, McGee. Yes, he is. He was nearly killed by a bombing. I'm not talking about the bombing. You are not? You're not? No. The crutches. Ladies love a man on crutches. Really? And how do you know this? Back when I was with Baltimore PD, I tore a ligament in my knee tackling a suspect who tried to wrap it. I heard a pop, and that was that. Six weeks on crutches. Very heroic. 
The ladies were all over me. And what crime did this suspect commit? Doesn't matter. All that matters is that I caught him and brought him in. Taking down a mass murderer is very different than tackling, say, a teenager accused of shoplifting. Kid was almost 20, okay? When you're done reminiscing, Dinozo, we got bad guys to catch. McGee, what do you got? Nothing yet, boss. I just got back. I noticed. Now go get me something. Right, boss. Looks like we'll be paying you a visit, Miss Bondari. Let's go. Not our jurisdiction. I'll talk to the FBI. You get whatever you can find out of there. Got it? Ducky will be here soon. Yes, Gibbs. Are you ready, Ziva? Go! Hey, look! It's the epicenter of the blast. We should get some samples of the explosive. I am on it. Somebody set this fire on purpose. We should be able to find traces of whatever they used to start it. Looks like we have all we need from the fire and explosion. These look like the tools a forgery artist would use. Gonna have to move the couch in order to get to it. Time to move on. One, two, three. All right, the path is clear. This has got to get moved. Piece of cake. Ziva, you're up. Got a safe over here. Geek's gonna be in heaven when he gets his sweaty palms on this. One, 
two, three. Oh, sorry I'm late. Traffic is especially bad today. So, uh, let's get started, shall we? Ziva, can you get a photo of the victim for me? Of course, Ducky. Are you ready, Tony? Thank you both for getting that dreadful appliance off this poor woman. You both have done a splendid job. Well, what do we have here? A passport. What? Are you gonna heat up a bean burrito? I think we have enough to confirm Gibbs's feeling about this being related to a terrorist group. We have finished with the crime scene. Now we need to know what the victim can tell us. Right you are. There are obvious burns over 50% of your body, but the skin from the upper torso and across the head and shoulders is completely untouched. It appears as if we were very lucky. Had you not been behind that refrigerator, we may never have discovered your true identity. A bullet wound in each leg. Someone did not want you to walk out of that apartment until they... This wasn't a simple murder, Jethro. Whoever did this wanted this woman to suffer. The bullet wounds were meant to keep her from leaving, and the refrigerator shielded her from the initial blast. Thanks, Duck. I still have some final things to try to sort through. Where can I find you if I come up with something new? With McGee. Now let's crack that hard drive. It looks like Halei Bandari was in on the crime from the beginning. But at some point she tried to blackmail the others. We got an email where she threatens to derail their plan if she doesn't get more money. Seems they were in cahoots all along. They even used her car as the getaway vehicle. But she, she tried to blackmail her partners for more money and that's what got her killed. <laughs> 
Yeah, hopefully Abby can corroborate it. This is 22 NBH, the same explosive we found at the bank. Based on the chemical used to bond the watermark paper to the outer cover, I'm certain that this is a real UAE passport. It's just blank. Maybe something was stolen from that safe after all. This bullet matches the slugs we collected at the bank. Something's not right here, Gibbs. Let's do a deduction board. Let's see what we can find. Why don't you explain it to me, Abs? Well, Gibbs, it works like this. What does that mean, Abs? Oh, come on, Gibbs. I know you see what I see. Why do you think that, Abs? Found what we were looking for. Why don't you explain it to me, Abs? Well, Gibbs, it works like this. What does that mean, Abs? Found what we were looking for. That's a good trick. Make fake blank passports, then swap them for the real ones while everyone is distracted by the bank robbery. You're gonna need the log file of whoever opened the safe at the embassy. Good work, Abs. Need to know what's on that log file. Log file, boss? From the UAE Embassy safe. They agreed to send it to you.
The safe was accessed at the time of the robbery by the key card belonging to Mariam Malik. Boss, you want me to bring her in? What do you think, Donozo? Yeah, I want you to bring her in. What am I doing here, Agent Gibbs? Need answers. I've told you everything I know. Not everything. What'd you take from the safe? I beg your pardon. I've never stolen anything in my life. You sure about that? I did not break into that safe. We checked the safe's logs. Your key card was used to open it during the robbery. You have to believe me. It wasn't me. I didn't even have my key card. It fell out of my wallet. O or I dropped it somewhere. It had been gone for a day or two before the robbery. I was too embarrassed to report it missing. I was hoping I'd find it. But I never did. If it wasn't you, then who was it? I don't know. You're gonna have to do better than that. Whoever found my keycard... <laughs> Maybe I dropped it at the coffee shop. So someone just picked up your keycard off the street and then decided to break into an embassy with it? What do you want me to say, Agent Gibbs? I don't know. Somebody knew what they were doing. Know anybody with a criminal history? It could have been my brother-in-law. Both he and my sister were staying with me last week. You got a criminal in the family. My sister doesn't have very good taste in men. You got his phone number? Phone number? Uh, sure. Give me your cell. There are personal messages. I said give me your cell. Or you could just wait here while I get a warrant. out about this girl's brother-in-law should be no problem we have his name and phone number Boss, Nadir Sayaf is a known terrorist on the CIA watch list. Then find him, McGee. Nadir is heading out of the downtown corridor and toward the outskirts of the city. You're gonna catch him. We're right on top of you now, and in just a few seconds, game over. Stay frosty. We're right on top of you now, and in just a few moments, you'll be caught. You're gaining on him. Tony. He's at the airport. Oh, he's mine.
Oh, don't make such a pouty face, Nadir. If you want, I can let you up and you can try to run again. I'll leave the handcuffs on, of course. This time, though, maybe you could run toward a muscle car. Then I could tackle you on the hood. That'd look pretty cool. As long as I don't pull another ligament. You mock me! As hard as I can. You will not be laughing long. America is not safe. It will never be safe as long as there are people like me and my brothers in arms ready to stand up against the capitalist oppressors. Blah, blah, blah. Tell it to the FBI. You're their problem now. You shall see. We will rain fire on your heads. I'll be sure to carry a fireproof umbrella. He's all yours. Guess the FBI owes us one. The FBI doesn't ever owe anyone anything. The other two perps from the bank robbery are in our custody, and we're officially taking over all aspects of the case. You should have been there. That guy didn't even see it coming. I just swooped in and BAM! I tackled him. It was one for the history books. So, are you going to tell us what crime the last one committed? The one that put you on crutches in Baltimore? Indecent exposure. Good night.